Hello fellow murderers, today is Sunday, May 26th, 2024, and it's a great day to solve a murder. Today we have the case of the body of the Inspector Iratino, and we have three 6x6 grids with suspects, locations, and weapons. Our red murder clue today is the body was found in the rec room, so let's go ahead and throw that in here. We've got the rec room, and we'll use our detective's notebook and our clues and evidence to figure out who was in the rec room and what they brought to the commit the murder. All right. So before we dive into the suspects, one thing I wanted to call out real quickly, I had a friend ask me last week about uh, Inspector Iratino, and they're like, hey, what's the case with uh, Inspector Iratino? It seems like he gets murdered every Sunday. How is that possible? What's going on there? So we'll just take an extra second at the end and I'll show you all kind of the story plot behind it. It's very sweet and they have little vignettes after the puzzle every week that you can read. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into our suspects. All right, we've got our suspects who were the past murderers from this week. So we have Uncle Midnight, Principal Applegreen, General Coffee, Major Red, Admiral Navy, and Miss Ruby. The weapons today are a gold watch, a lawyer, a pair of literal golden handcuffs, a bottle of Cabernet toilet wine, karate hands, which is my personal favorite, karate hands made of hands. I love karate hands and a poison birthday cake. And the locations today are the rec room, which is of course the murder location, the spa, the guard tower, the tennis courts, the private suite, and the movie theater. All right, let's dive into our clues and evidence. Someone sufficiently schooled in a martial art was discovered beneath the cushions of a velvet seat. All right, if you've played even two Sunday puzzles, let's say you're gonna know cushions beneath a velvet seat is a classic indicator for the movie theater. So we can go ahead and say karate hands were at the movie theater. So we'll put those there. Principal Applegreen was seen hanging around the guard tower. Okay, super straightforward. Put that in there. A gold watch was reflected in brown eyes. Okay, I've seen people get tripped up on ones like this. Um, this is less, um, less involved than I think it comes across as. So this is just saying the person with the gold watch had brown eyes. I know when it's like reflected, it's like, is it looking back at somebody else? So it's like somebody's wearing the watch and somebody else is in the reflection. That makes so much sense, but no, that's not what it is. It's simpler. So it's just the gold watches with somebody with brown eyes. So let's figure out who has brown eyes. General Coffee and Major Red both have brown eyes. We're back at midnight. so. One of these two, and I am going to indulge in a question mark today just because it's a larger puzzle. So one of these two had the gold watch. We'll cross that out for now. The tallest suspect never set foot in the private suite. So let's see. I bet it's going to be Major Red, but let's just double check. Yep. Okay. So Major Red never set foot in the private suite. A Sagittarius was in the spa. Man, we've got so many suspect clues here. Um, Sagittarius was in the spa. So let's see, we've got Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, so it's between these two. So I'll do another question mark. Why not? We've already set this, this the precedent. And it's these two, right? Yeah. Okay, so Midnight and Coffee are the Sagittariuses. Okay. This fingerprint was found on a lawyer. We have General Coffee here. Pretty sure that's it. We've got a lot of swirls though. Just want to take an extra second. No, it's General Coffee for sure. Okay. General Coffee had the lawyer. So that means we can put the gold watch with Major Red. Anything else we could do with that? No, I think that's it for now. Uncle Midnight was seen indoors, I think all of the locations but the tennis court are indoors. Well, let's see, outdoors. Yeah, so Uncle Midnight was not the tennis courts. One of Logico's contacts in the ancient band of Hallowed Blood gave him this tip. Admiral Navy was seen with a poisoned birthday cake, or yeah. Um, uh, I'm not going to try to say this one, but <laughs> it is tempting. All right. So Admiral Navy has a poison birthday cake. Put that in. A golden handcuff key was discovered next to a net. Okay. So um, 
let's first quickly just say um, Uncle Midnight did not have the pair of literal golden handcuffs because a golden handcuff key was at the tennis courts. Oops, went too far. Here we go. Okay, now let's figure out what we're missing. So, one of these two suspects can be in the spa. Uh, do we have anything that's placing one of them elsewhere? Okay, let's come back to that in a second. What else do we have? We have Apple Green is like one of the few for whom we have a location. So let's start there. The guard tower. So let's see what we have. Oh, this, okay, this is gonna help us out a lot. So these two cannot be Apple Green's location, or sorry, well, location, but also weapon. So the golden handcuffs in the karate hands cannot be with Apple Green. Um, because Apple Green was in the guard tower, so that puts Apple Green with the Cabernet toilet wine in the guard tower. And that also answers Uncle Midnight. Actually, a few things here. Uncle Midnight um, had the karate hands in the movie theater, so we can go down and put this in here. So that also means that we now know Coffee with the lawyer is in the spa, so spa lawyer. And let's see, yeah, we've got Midnight reflected there. So, who's still in the running? We've got these three still in the running. Let's see. Okay, the poison birthday cake could be in the private suite or in the rec room. Oh, here we go. Um, we're going to get Miss Ruby's location. So, Miss Ruby was on the tennis courts. So, that leaves only Admiral Navy as the possible person in the private suite. And finally, we have our murderer major red with the uh gold watch so let's put it in we've got major red this one was a definite use the grid and do some deduction work here kind of puzzle so we've got major red with a gold watch in the rec room i'm going to take two extra seconds fill this out really was two seconds that time <laughs> all right so there's everything all filled out looking good we have Major Red with a gold watch in the rec room. Let's go ahead and see if we were right, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about Irritino. Okay, we were right. Every Sunday after we solve the puzzle, we'll see something like Logico heading home and feeling a bit down because yeah, he solved the case, but he couldn't bring his friend and former rival back. Um, but then when he arrives home, he'll find Irritino there waiting for him. And there's always like a, wait, I thought you were dead. What happened? And Irritino will explain that it was all a ruse to see if he could trick Logico. Um, and you'll see there are a few different stories. Uh, my favorite is when they go get dinner and solve the case of the mediocre Linguini. Um, but it's not something you need in order to solve the puzzles or anything like that. There's no secret information that you need to gather from this. But it's definitely a lot of fun to take a moment and read if you're a big fan of the Myrtle universe. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. And with that, thank you so much for playing along with me today. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough and we will see you tomorrow.